Alright guys, what is up? It's your boy Mad Panda, and today we're going to be playing part 10 of my Assassin's Week walkthrough. So sit down, relax, and let's get right into the game. So, uh, before we even get started, oh my bad. Before we even get started, I want to show you guys this new outfit I also bought. I know I switched it uh, real fast, but I had to because uh, this has to be one of my favorites so far. It really, Even though it's an owl, it's supposed to be an owl. It gives off that Assassin's Creed vibe so much, and it just fits so well. Like how an assassin, a Greek assassin, should look like, you know? It has that uh, blood red uh, inside of the hood. Reminds me a lot of Ezio, actually, this hood. And uh, honestly, it looks, it looks great. I honestly like this. It's, it's becoming one of my favorites so far. All right, so, yeah, we're going to wait a while until we uh, go here uh because uh what was this i got to have plenty it's a mission i didn't know that yeah we're gonna wait a while real quick uh, until we get to level 13 um i'm level 11 at the moment or at least till i'm like level 12 make it a bit easier because i believe there's a boss level around there so we're gonna go here oh no it's right here oh so there's two missions all right Sorry if I kind of sounded kind of oh shoot. <laughs> Sorry if I sounded kind of low last uh, episode, but that's because uh, like I said before in my review of my uh, of my days gone, um, I was feeling kind of sick. And I'm always sick, dude. But uh, this time I got sick because uh, it was raining out and uh, I pretty much got wet. And then I was like in my AC in the room, so. That did not help at all. Oh, there's two missions now. So, uh, pretty much Valkyrie's now uh, belongs to Sparta at the moment. So, pretty much all this belongs to Sparta except Athens. So, we're pretty much surrounding Athens at the moment. Uh, it was originally in Athens territory, but uh, yeah, we're pretty much surrounding. All this area is actually Sparta now. Holy crap. Too bad we can't go up here, but. Damn, yeah, everything is Sparta at the moment. Around, everything around it. Besides that. Yeah, this is crazy. Who does this belong to? I don't think it belongs to anyone. Alright, um. Yeah, we got it because, I mean, they gave us an option of war because we had, like, like, gotten the Athenian army real weak. So I was like, why not? Get some extra loot, right? So yeah, right now I think we're gonna meet up with the Oracle, if I remember correctly. Wait, is this even the right way? I hope this Oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. The Sanctuary of Delphi. Sanctuary of Delphi. Oh, Jinx. The gods themselves watch over this land. I just love the detail Ubisoft always puts into their games. Even if you, even if you may not like them, you gotta give it to them. Like these games are great. Him using this hood, if I'm being honest, it makes it feel like an Assassin's Creed game. Without it, it kind of doesn't. <laughs> Without the hood, it kind of doesn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game at all. It has that weak warrior, weak Greek warrior vibes to it. I've been hearing about, wait, hold my thought because it's probably going to start. I'll tell you guys in a bit. Any minute now. Any minute now. I could have, like, done telling you guys my thought by now. <laughs> Yo, this game has some, like, quick, like, in, like, how do you say it? Like, loading screens, but then it also has really slow loading screens. Like, it's really inconsistent. Inconsistent. Alexios 
Isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. It's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... It... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand the word of it. But that's <laughs> why she's in there and we're out here. I know. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! <laughs> I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right, but if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? <laughs> so the way you say his name is not Barnabas, it's Varnavas with a V. So Varnavas. Are we like supposed to sneak in or I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? I thought I'd change my alert, alarm sound. Hmm. 
Ale Indra Rechabe. Enter into the light of Apollo. The light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal. For you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. Uh, who is my father? Where is my mother? I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocents died thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken. The prophecy is yours. You never answered my question. I'm not leaving until I get answers. And then don't leave. Just follow her. Rotatos, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to their feet. But they paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her. When she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. All right then. So uh, we're gonna go Oracle hunting. Honestly, so far I've noticed from this game is that 70% of the game is a uh, cutscene, and then 30 is fucking uh, gameplay. <laughs> Wait, how far is that? It's actually not that far. Wait, give me a second. Though. Wait, I thought there were... Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's right there. It's right there. As a matter of fact, real quickly, I'm going to go uh, and uh, sync up right there because uh, it'll make it easier coming up and down the mountain. Just uh, just pretty much going um, fast travel mode. So, uh. In every Assassin's Creed game, I always do that, so I recommend everyone to do that as well. 
Like, if you guys are trying to get from point A to point B faster than uh, just roaming around, then yeah, I recommend you guys doing that. And also, it's because it's just crazy, dude. Oh, shit, I dropped my controller. I had to hold a moment of silence for that. And this never gets old. Never. I think I had a save. Nope. Pretty close, uh. Honestly, I think, uh. All Assassin's Creed games should have this eagle. I'll finally get some answers. This is one of the best things that has happened to the franchise, I believe. The eagle. I really enjoy using it. But they should have made a better job of how they have that, like, synced up, uh. Synced up eyes or something, you know. But overall, I think every Assassin's Creed game has to have the eagle. Unfortunately, they don't, but it would have been awesome. Hopefully, they keep this trend going. And, like, they just say something like, uh, the eagle. They just got the eye vision without the eagle or something. But I feel the more we get closer to the original Assassin's Creed game, the more we're gonna That's stop seeing the eagle. Kind of sucks though. Uh, let's see if we can take that guy out first. Oh no. Nope. Damn it, they heard me. Shit. I was really hoping that they didn't. I was going to do this uh, really sneaky. Unfortunately. Oh, shit. They even have arrows. You got to be kidding me. This one might be a bit harder than I thought, boys. Because they have shields, and those shields are strong. I can't break them normally. And their arrows are pretty damn strong, too. What? No way I missed that shot. What if I kick him out? Ooh, that actually did a lot of damage. That was cool, though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No way, no way. That's bullshit. That's complete. I, I think that's bullshit. Yo, these guards are no joke, dude. Like, that shield thing doesn't even do anything. Like, my arrows aren't doing anything at all. There we go. So this is it, huh? And we still have the captain up there, so uh, how do I unlock? Oh, there we go. That's him. Uh, I really had to do this uh, really sneaky. Oh, shit. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm gone, boys. I'm gone. You'll never find me, copper. I'm going to try to do this, uh... Like an assassin shit. Because Herodotus gave us a hint. We shouldn't do this, like, brutally, I think. We should do this, uh... Stealth-like. How the hell do you even break their shields in the first place, though? That's the thing. I killed the captain actually pretty easy. So I'm surprised they're... These suits are pretty damn strong. Oh, shit. They have a fucking dog. Oh. 
This dog is actually gonna be really annoying, so I'm sorry. Damn it! All right. I really need something that stuns them. I feel like I won't be able to take them all on, so I'm uh, I'm gonna try to take this uh, chick on. Like the arrow is not even doing anything. Let me try the poison arrow. Oh. Oh, that was on me. I missed that, actually. I like that little thing that they put here. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but uh, every time you use a poison arrow, it has a little snake sound effect. Oh, trident. Oh, that's fucking dope. We gotta use that. We gotta use that right now. That tr Let's see if we have any good arrow. Nope, not yet. Level 12. That trident looks sick, though. That's 93. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty damn sick. All right. Ooh. That actually might help. Hold on. Nope. Nope. I guess I was wrong. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on, hold on. Yo, it's actually pretty strong. Damn it. So uh, if I push them into a wall, it kind of doesn't do anything at all. They have to fall into the ground. Ooh. Yo, the damage on the thing is actually pretty strong. It's a lot. It's like their shields can't break, so that makes it like 10 times harder, in my opinion. It looks pretty damn cool, though, so. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it, like just kicking them back. All right, so what I, I got to do is pretty much do this. Oh, man, that, that would have been... Uh... This, is my, this is my opportunity. Oh, this is it. No way. Oh my god, for a second I thought I didn't get him. I was like, what? Ooh. Oh, that was a fail. That was a fail. The range in the weapon, though, it's pretty uh, it's pretty good. The range is actually good. Athenian gauntlets. Alright. Serpent bow. We have a lot of level 12 bows. That was harder than I expected. Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! She's saying guards, bro. I killed your guards. What are you talking about? I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you. I promise. All right. 
but ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles. I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. What? You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the horror of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? What? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. I should tell Herodotus what Pythia told me about the cult. Oh, Maybe that's he'll have crazy, some dude. All right. I mean, I knew Alpino was bad, but I forgot. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a minute, so. Uh, Alpina is with the call. The truth will be out. What's right there? Is, all right. Uh, all right, let's go. Yo, that trident looks sick as hell, though. Well, what did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me, but I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. Malaka's liar. Let's pick up the Helmet of the Oracle. All right, let's see something real quick. Uh, all right, so we're supposed to go here. Oh, that's where the fort is? He said there was a fort, so yeah, I think there's a fort there. All right, guys, but I think this is where I'm going to be ending the video. Remember, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.